Hello everybody! Hello Melissa! Good evening! Hello! Hello! Welcome! Happy Sunday! Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, we, the weather here in Stafford, Virginia was like yucky. But anyways, we're here. We don't need to, right? Hello! Hello Rita! Nancy! Hello everybody! Okay, so what is this? Um, this is my monthly online all occasions car class where I come and I show you uh, the cards that I designed. It's three cards and I run this as a in-person class and also online. So I already had my um, in-person class this could be online, in person, or people can get it to go. Because not everybody is ready to come and stamp in my studio, so I give everybody the option. So what I do, I design three cards, and the class includes six cards total. So you make two of each. And for those that take it to go, I prep all the supplies, and they put, I put them in the envelope, and they take it to go. Or, in, in this case, if anybody places an order using this host code until uh, by April 30th, then they will get the supplies for free. So, um, how does it work? Orders over $35, merchandise order, will receive the supplies for the six cards, in, envelopes included. And then, if the order goes it's all fifty dollars or more then they get the supplies for the cards and a free embellishment and i'm going to tell you which one is the embellishment that everybody uh that qualifies will get hello hello nancy bonnie welcome welcome everybody thank you for joining okay so let me show you the cards and i designed these cards in a way that anybody can finish them at home with supplies that they have it's not easy to design cards where there's a very limited stamping involved uh, but i am learning or kind of um becoming an expert because with this situation but i just wanted to show it to you show the cards to you so this is the first one uh, the only stamping required is the sentiment here so anything that fits in an oval stitched oval will work and then I everybody receives the insert um, for the card and they can stamp whatever depending on what they have here they can even stamp an image if they want okay so this is one hello Bev hello everybody then we have this card and I will let show let you know that I am trying to use everything that is retiring. This is the other card, and this is a masculine card. Okay, it could be for a birthday, it could be for any kind of a celebration. There, so as you can see, there's a little bit of stamping in the background and just the sentiment right here. And then the last but not least card is this. And it's a fun fold. Obviously, you have your insert. I keep it separate. And then you can stamp whatever inside depending on your sentiment or whatever. Okay? So I'm going to show you what everybody will receive if they want to take this um, advantage of this. Yes. Thank you, ladies. Okay. So let me show the first one. That is the... I use the... Um, ornate garden suite because I want to use all of my designer series paper okay so I based my design on this and I used the dies that coordinate with this so this was one of the most uh, popular suites and so I used the dies to die cut this and die cut this these are the stitched shapes dies that are retiring uh, this punch is retiring the ribbon is retiring the gold foil it's gonna stay I think I, I don't remember I think maybe not and then what else and that's it 
And the embossing folder that I used here is retiring. This is the subtle embossing folder. Let me just tell you for sure, because I don't want to say a lie, because I forgot all the list. Yes, the subtle embossing folder is retiring. Not sure if any of these items are still available, because as of April 23rd, even the stamp sets are while supplies last. So if you have any of these stamp sets in your stash, uh, on your wish list, you make sure to get it. And also I'm using a stamp set that is retiring. That is the So Sentimental uh, stamp set. This is retiring. Okay, these are the dies. Okay, as you can see, beautiful. These are staying. Okay. So let me show you how quickly this card goes together. Let me check the gold foil because I want to make sure that I'm not telling you something wrong. So the gold foil, where's the specialty paper? In the bag somewhere right here. No, the gold foil is staying. The gold foil, gold copper are staying, silver champagne and brass are retired. Okay, so let's go. So I will set this aside and then re uh, show you this one again at the end. Okay, so let's put together this card and my set of supplies are right here. And everybody that got this oh, and will get this will get the eight and a half, eight and a half by five and a half card stock cut and scored. This is the terracotta tile that is retiring. And there you go. Then I took a piece of the basic white and I ran it through the stitched, not the stitch, but the um, dies. And let me just poke these little things out for just now. I die cut it and then I ran it through the 3D uh, subtle embossing folder. And let me just do this. I could flick this, but I, let me just do it. I forgot. And then that's what you get right here. Okay. Let me just go quickly. Because you don't want to. I wanted to make it finish. Because um, all these cards will go to somebody. You know, because all these. I have a bazillion of cards. So, But this is a, the sample of that what sim, everybody can make. Okay. I think I like it. This is there. Obviously, you can take the brush here, tip, and then run it through, but I didn't I didn't think of, of doing that now. Okay, let me just clear, clear, <laughs> clean everything here. Okay, so let me just go ahead. So the first thing that we're gonna do is, see this is a scrap of paper that I had, and I'm using every little bit of it. Ooh, what's going on with this one today? Oh, maybe because it's toward, toward the end. There. Stuck to my finger. That's what it did. It did. Okay, so this goes right here. Simple and easy. As you can see, I have a piece of... Here, stuck to my fingers. Now, this is that. Then I'm going to take a piece of... This is Old Olive that I ran through the embossing folder um, right here, that this embossing folder is part of the beautiful suite. Let's see, it's not retiring, but it's part of the not Forever Greenery suite. It's part of this. That's the, the embossing folder that goes, it's called Greenery Embossing Folders. It's a set of two. And those are staying, and I'm happy about it. So I ran it through that, and now we're going to glue it down. So this is simple and easy. This goes like so. See, I'm trying to design cards in a way that um, you can use it for whatever send, whatever occasions. So this is the beautiful designer series paper that is on sale. Remember, six dollars and ninety cents for twelve sheets. And this one I put it on with dimensionals, of course. Look at the other side. Okay. 
and I'm gonna do it here too and then this piece needs to come out of there okay quick and easy and I don't know why I didn't put one over there I meant to put it in the middle and there you go okay Ta-da! I love, love, love these daisies. Then I took my gold foil. And this one is going to be like so right here. See how simple of a layout this is? Simple, simple. After that, I took my ribbon. And this is, I think it's $2.90 if it is still available. It's... um. You have the terracotta and then you have the old olive. You have two spools for a total of 10 yards for $2.90. So this is a steal for sure. And I'm going to put a little bit there. Let's see how this is easy peasy, nice and easy. There. Then I'm going to go ahead and stamp. I already die cut my oval. I'm going to take the sentiment that says I can't thank you enough. I'm going to take my memento ink, ink it up, right? And hopefully I will stamp this straight or as straight as I can because I can't see much. But it looks pretty much, there you go. Um, yep, I'm going to flip it on the other side and try. And now I'm going to take it over a little bit. Because I gotta go under and see if now it's better. Yeah, I like it a little bit better. Okay, then this is gonna go right here. It doesn't matter because there's a little smudge, but I will cover it with my uh, flowers. And I'm gonna take dimensionals one, two. I'm gonna go top and bottom and one in the middle. So I'm securing the ribbon as well. So it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, let's see if I did a good job or not. Ta-da, simple and easy, right? Nothing major. Then I punched um, two of the flowers from the small blossom. This is retiring. One in, I think this is a Daffodil Delight. And this one is Vellum. I'm going to take... Uh, glue dots mini glue dots my one of my favorite adhesive and one is gonna go now I'm gonna alternate because this has to cover the mess right there and then I'm gonna go with the other one that is vellum and ta-da there simple and easy okay voila now we're going to use embellishments and these are the ones let me see if i have a package but if not i don't i want to show it to you in the back where all the embellishments are and these are the gilded gems right here and these this will be my free um my free embellishment with an order of 50 dollars or more so you get six cards and you get a package of the gilded embellishments. And I think I did one right here, the large, because I'm going to cover the glue dot. Then I have another large here. And obviously you will get your own package of these. And then I have a third one right here. Here I've separated everything, but you will get your packet and this is gonna go like so okay then of course you will have the insert the white to put inside and you can stamp whatever so this card is finished after i do a little bit of a trim hello elise thank you for sharing thank you for popping on okay so there you go this is a very simple and easy card that um can be for a thank you, happy birthday, thinking of you. As long as you have a sentiment that fits in, in this shape, you are good to go. So this is card number one. Okay. 
And then I'm going to go on and show you. Let me clean everything so I don't ink anything extra. Okay. And then I move on to the next card. That would be the masculine card. And what I'm using for this card, you will see. Once again, I'm using a set of designer series paper. A pack of designer series paper that I think is very versatile okay and it is the old world let me see uh, the world of good sweet so the designer series paper is called world of good specialty designer series paper I call it always old world but old work but this is the designer series paper and I'm using this pattern I'm using this pattern and I'm using this pattern to create this card so as you can see and I've used it also um, more than once during my Facebook lives to show you how these card the, this designer series paper is versatile okay so what I did this is basic gray, same measurements, five and a half by eight and a half, scored in half, fold it, and using my bone folder right here, setting this aside for now. Then I'm taking, oh, let me show you what else that I'm using that is retiring. This is the bundle that is retiring. It's the Geared Up Garage, and it is a red rubber cling stamp set from this stamp set i'm using these images and the all geared up to celebrate okay and i've used the um whatever they are these and some of this these shapes to cut out this okay there you go so what i did let me layer so this is a piece of basic black and then I'm going to layer my designer series paper on it let me do all this part first and see how the other side is the one for the world old world world of good and I'm gonna go in so this is a very nice um, simple layout for a masculine card and I can go ahead and layer this so anybody can make this one, right simple and easy but nice I think a very and masculine cards I like making them because you don't have to do too much to it okay this is designer series paper and I'm going to stamp on the designer series paper let me grab all my stamps I need okay I decided to use basic gray and cinnamon cider for this I'm going to use basic gray and this smoke whatever it is and let me grab a piece of scrap paper because I don't want to um, mess that one up I have plenty of yucky paper here that I that I can, I'm ready to throw away. So I want to reuse them. And I'm going to stamp off on there. So I'm going to ink right here. Stamp off and stamp. Ink, stamp off, stamp. Ink, this one I'm going to do it dark. Actually, I'm going to do it dark because I'm using... There. Decided to do it darker because I realized that my ink is... It's not as juicy as when we, I started. Okay. Then from here, actually I still need my basic gray. I'm going to take these, the bolts, and stamp there. Okay. There, and then I'll real, probably I'll do one right there. Because depending on how I put this, voila! There you go. So this stamping is done i am going to attach this one down and i'm actually 
waiting because the first thing that I'm going to do is stamp my sentiment right here and I'm going to stamp it. I think I did in black because I want it to be darker. I think I did black and that will be memento. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment hopefully straight. Maybe yes, maybe no. Oh, that is a big no. Because I, I was looking toward the... Okay. Tick. Oh, boy. Oh, this is better. Okay. Then I'm going to take the same image and I'm going to clean the stamp because I'm going to change color. And you always want to clean your stamp in between colors and make sure that you don't have anything left over there. And then I'm taking my cinnamon cider and I'm gonna ink it, check it up here and stamp it off and then go ahead and stamp it on here to give it a little bit of um, extra touch or so. And good, there you go. Just to show you what I did on mine. Oh, I mean, I'm going to do it on this one too. Let's see. What I did, I did the same. So ink for the inside of the card. Stamp, ink, stamp off, stamp. And then I'm going to take my bolt here. And stamp, stamp. Stamp. I think I have my husband's birthday card ready or my son. One of the two because they are coming up June. Uh, my husband is celebrating a big birthday and we're not going to say the year. But yeah, so it's a big, big one. Okay, now I can work on this and I'm going to do this just apply a bit of adhesive just to make it go like so then I'm going to take dimensionals and I'm going to put three of them just because I want to secure this one down because I didn't want to put it on dimensionals because it would have been too crazy with the open so this one is gonna go like so then I'm taking these and for these I'm gonna use my mini mini dimensionals that I love so much and put a one in the back it fits right there and then another one in the back of this one like so so this one is gonna go up here and this one is gonna go down here Voila, and I'm ready to layer this on it. See the other side. Oops, I don't want to glue those. Okay, so for those of you that are having trouble with this stamping seal, the secret is not to press hard, to let it go. Press down a bit, just a bit. This one goes right here, right? like so then of course you know by now that the extra layer will need a bit of dimension and i'm going to take this one do you always stamp with the darker color first than the lighter color when you're stamping a sentiment over an image well be, uh no um not really i did now because i knew what to do but to tell you the truth, I stamped my, uh, it doesn't matter at least because they don't blend, okay? They don't blend together, so it really doesn't, doesn't matter, okay? So I could have done my lighter and the dark, but in this case, I think I did my darker first and the lighter after, so it doesn't really matter. Because I actually think... Yeah, uh, I was trying to remember what I did when I <laughs> designed the cards, but do you think I remember? Nope, not at all. 
voila and I'm going to do you see there I shouldn't put the adhesive there and I'm gonna clean it because I don't want to see it voila done so and I'm gonna put this one inside that is ready okay all geared up to celebrate it could be a birthday it could be whatever occasion but for somebody for masculine for a guy and we have one embellishment because I thought they looked like a bolt somewhat somehow to me it and so we're gonna put one right here and the card is done okay so we're using the same element the same embellishment right here but as you can see it goes both ways there you go done that's card number two and we're gonna move on to card number three that is a fun fold right here this requires one stamp one sentiment that's all I've done everything for you and I'm gonna show you what I'm using so supplies are over there I'm using the designer series paper the um, what's the name of that is right here because of course do I remember all the names no but this is the dandelion garden designer series paper dandy garden six by six designer series paper and these are this is in the uh, mini catalog still available because the mini catalog will not retire until the end of june but pretty soon we'll know uh we'll make it public because um whatever is going to be retiring from that okay so as you can see i have a bunch and i like this because yes you have a side that is dandelion but the other side is just stripes and so so this time I did use it so I'm using this I'm using the brilliant wings dies a set of two dies and I'm using the uh well, what do you call this this shape okay and I use the big one okay already die cut and everything so that's what you receive in the packet inside your envelope that is that okay let's take the card out oh and the sentiment comes from the under my umbrella is this one is a stamp set that has a matching punch and is retiring this is another great set because it covers a lot of um, occasions um, thinking of you um, birthday hello you know friendship love so this is a great stamp set to have and it's a photopolymer stamp set okay so let me take these out and also just wanted to show you what i where i got oops everything out there so this little scalloped edge comes from this set of dies that is called be mine stitched dies and this is the one this has a two these two sets of um dies that i really really am going to miss because these hearts they're stitched and they're retiring okay they are going away not sure if they're on sale or not i can tell you i have the catalog right here all marked up let's see if those they and I have not updated my my catalog with whatever was okay. Yes, these stitched be mine were thirty five dollars. Right now are at twenty one dollars um, discounted. Okay, and let me put this one to the side all together. So this you've seen this fold. This is eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it to one eighth and flip it to one eighth two and one eighth I'm gonna fold it this way and this will be our card front or card base okay then we're gonna take this and this and we're going to layer the two of them like so okay 
And the best way to do it is to apply the adhesive on this side, right here along one of the sides. And we're going to do like so. Hopefully I'll, I'm straight. I will be, if not, I can look from the back and check from here. You can tell. Is it straight? Mm, now it is. Okay. Then I'm taking a length of the, um, oh my golly, this is really slipping my mind. The Mo Misty Moonlight in color ribbon that is retiring. Okay. But not so. The new catalog will have new ribbon in the new, in these colors. The colors are not retiring, but the, um, what you may call it, the ribbon is. So I'm going to put it here because I want to kind of hide the seam. Okay. So make it a clean look. Now. When I'm putting this one on, let's see if I did it right. So probably I did it. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh no. Okay. So one thing that I need to remember is to stay closer to this edge right here, because I don't want this to show in the back of the card. So I'm going to go along the designer series paper, not so much in between the two, but along this, cause I wanted to be covered and let's see if this will work if not i have to modify it again this will go like so and this should be covered completely yes Woo yes so i'm gonna put my adhesive on this only on this part okay in case you gotta put this one together only on this side let me see. And there a little bit because we don't want this. And ah, it's really sticky. This should be like so. Okay. Ta-da! And if we have some of the glue showing i'm gonna just clean it but one thing that you don't want you don't want all the glue up here otherwise you're not going to be able to close your card uh, open your card it will be closed shut okay so you have an edge up here and edge edge like there okay here we go done so the most difficult part is over now i'm going to glue this down here actually not glue it but using a dimensional or two or three and because i want this one to go like so so one is gonna go there one is gonna go here and one is gonna go here let's see if it works okay and then you just flip it around and voila and i'm gonna glue now this Okay, so this is straight right and that will be like so voila see how simple it is hello Marcia oh Marcia I don't think I'll be able to see you but I wish you all the best you know what I'm talking about so I think I will have somebody that will keep me informed but all the best to you Okay, so this is going to go down here and it's flat and I'm just going to put a little bit of tape right here because then I know I'm not going to glue it down here. Okay, and that is done. I'm going to take my beautiful butterfly. I'm going to take glue dots and I'm going to use them behind his, is a butterfly masculine or feminine? In Italian, it is feminine. It is a she. 
I don't know in English or I don't remember. And I'm t taking it, you know, tilted it this way so I know it's going to stay within the card. I'm going to take a bow that I already tied with the same ribbon. Taking this glue dot right there. Putting the bow down here. Look at that. I love this blue. I love this everything. I love everything about this card. I love it. I'm, I'm going to miss this color like there's no tomorrow. How do I become, become what, Nancy? Okay, there we go. So that's that. What else? We're going to stamp. Let's see if I have my little piece of... I forgot, maybe? My little piece of... Um, strip of paper for my sentiment but not to worry because right behind me i have a bazillion of strips and there you go and i'm gonna take this i'm gonna take the stamp set actually the stamp that says it's your day and it could be a birthday could be um celebrating something particular or even a graduation, you know, this is nice for a graduation as well. And I'm going to stamp maybe straight, I think, I hope. Uh, it's your day. Yes. And I'm taking my scissors and see, no need to measure or anything. We're just going to eyeball it like so. And then I took, I think I took the glue dots. Um, did I do glue dot? Yes, I did. I'm going to do two because I want to make sure that it stays. So glue dot and maybe another one here to attach to the butterfly. And the card, it's your day there actually here i can put a mini dimensional let's do a little bit of a surgery here and add a mini dimensionals to the back i think it's a facebook algorithm based on how many times you watch live oh i don't know i was not following what you you were asking so i'm sorry nancy okay so this is done, this is done. Now, just the embellishment. And we're going to use the same, same embellishments. One here and two here. Okay. And the card is finished. The insert will have whatever sentiment you want. Um, not the sentiment, whatever you want to stamp at home. In my case, probably because I was using this one, I would stamp a little bit of the flowers or the take the dandelion and stamp a uh, dragonfly in here or just leave it blank and write a nice note or stick another butterfly. But this is the card. So card number one, no, number three. So... Just to recap everything, if anybody's interested, using this host code, that's the only way that I would know that you guys want to get into the, the deal right here. Using this host code, you will um, then, if your order is over $35, you will receive the supplies for the six card. So you will get to make two of these, two of these two of these okay so that will be your set uh no nothing will be stamped it will be mailed to you okay in a little packet and you will get everything if your order is 50 dollars or more you will get a packet of the embellishments that i use tonight okay so that is all that i had this is my online class 
and also my monthly class. Every month I design three different cards and people get to make two of each for a total of six cards, okay? And in person is a little bit different. Usually Facebook, okay. Okay, I was just reading the comments and I will look at all the comments at the, um, at the end. But thank you ladies for being here. Uh, so we'll have to rewatch. Okay, Marsha, but um, all the best to you. Thank you for watching, ladies. I hope you enjoyed the cards. These are most of the items that I used are retiring. If not by May 3rd, it will be by June 30th if it is in the mini catalog. But all of this in this card, everything is retiring. In here, everything is retiring. In here, the only thing that is not retiring at the end of the month, uh, um, in May, is the designer series paper. And the, these are not retiring. These dies are not retiring. They're carrying over. Okay, but everything else is going to go. Even this beautiful color of car stock. Not this, though. Okay, so that is all. I'm going to leave this right here. Let me know if you have any questions. Contact me if you have problems, um, including, you know, putting in your order. I'll be happy to include it to you. Just let me know that you want to take advantage of my offer. And ordering has to be placed by, the order has to be placed by April 30th. If you go online and want it, this is the host code to use. Okay, ladies, I am uh, wishing you a very good night and a good start of your week tomorrow. Okay, thank you for being here. Bye.